Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Raddick Outdoors. I got to get in Miss Yannis' cabinet and swap me a little bit of cornmeal. You see that right there? Yellow cornmeal. That's the best miner bait there is, in my opinion. Get all my stuff, and I'll show y'all how we're going to catch some minners. Got to have a couple of sticks. We got old sack minner trap. And of course our cornmeal. They may be better places than this spot right here to put this trap out. But I can set it out right here and I can sit over here in the shade while I wait for the minners. So that's where I'm gonna put it. Folks, a little safety tip. If you're gonna be doing something like this, at least where I live, be sure and have your old pair of tennis shoes or some water shoes. Don't go out in this thing barefooted. These people throw bottles out there and bust them and there's glass and just, they leave trot lines out in the water and stuff. I don't know why people do such a thing. They ought to do better than that. But just wear you some good shoes when you wait out in that water, keep from cutting your feet up. But the first thing you do is tie the end of your sack up so your meal won't come out. <laughs> then the next thing you do, take your cornmeal, pour it in the other end. Shake it down in there. Now when you set this thing out, a good trick, you can spit in the water and tell just exactly how the current's going because that thing needs to be straight with the current and that little screen piece right there needs to be straight up toward the sky. So that's the whole trick of setting this trap out. Get all the air out of it. Let's see if I can do this without falling. Roll it around and get all the bubbles out. Now it's just a matter of playing the waiting game and see if any men are swimming that thing. Man, this traffic is awful going across this bridge, making all kind of noise, trying to mess up my video. Here comes another car. <laughs> my little grandson asked me the other day, <laughs> he said, Papa, what is made out of leather and sounds like a sneeze? <laughs> I thought about it and I said, I ain't got no idea, buddy. He said, a shoe. <laughs> Another one my little grandson asked me was, Papa, do fish ever get thirsty? <laughs> you know, we get out in God's creation and got time to sit down and think sometime and contemplate about things. My mind wanders about crazy things sometimes. For instance, why don't we park in a driveway and drive in a parkway? Another thing I've wondered about, how come a bottle of lemon juice has artificial flavoring in it, but dishwashing soap has real lemon juice? And here's a thought. If you describe something as indescribable, hadn't you just described it? Have you ever thought about, is it really wasting time if you enjoy wasting time? Man, it's just car after car. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this video or not. But y'all probably can't see it, but I'll try to show you. But these men are swimming around in front of that trap. See them swimming around there? It all looks good. But see that current is coming by and it's pulling that meal out and they're saying oh free meal man this looks good they pay no attention to that little hole they're going down in and then once they get in there it's very hard for them to find their way out and you know the old devil sets up traps for us just exactly like that everything looks good and if we don't check it out real good we'll find ourselves going in a little funnel hole and we get caught and it's hard to get out so the best way to avoid that is to stay in god's word Surround yourself with other believers and talk to him every day through prayer. See, it does work. That wasn't the best catch, but I have seen it when that sack would be slammed full like that. Back in the days when I could set out trot lines, I set that minnow trap out. 
I go stretch me a line across the river or up and down the side of the river. When I got done with that, I come back to that sack and I had enough minnows to bait up. That's the minnow catching this thing I ever seen. The only bad thing is if it's cold weather, you're in trouble. <laughs> and always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.